On November 15, 2024, Jake Paul, a YouTube personality turned boxer, made headlines by defeating a former heavyweight champion, Mike Tyson, via a unanimous decision. Now, in most cases, beating up a 58-year-old man would come with the jail sentence, but did Jake Paul use this victory as an opportunity to solidify his position as the savior of American boxing? You be the judge, I'm Courtney Hall, and this is what's happening today. Now, before you all destroy me in the comments, section hear me out whether you like it or not Jake Paul is getting eyes on American boxing I mean before he stepped in a boxing ring Jake Paul was already a household name as a child star and YouTube personality then one day he came along and started boxing and now he's arguably one of the most popular boxers in sports and that's what's led him to becoming a villain in the world of boxing along with his non-traditional background he's often criticized for not facing actual professional boxing boxers in their prime. His earlier fights included basketball player Nate Robinson and UFC fighters Tyrone Whitley and Nate Diaz. It's also important to note that when Jake Paul did face a legitimate boxer in Tommy Fury, who is closer to him in age and experience, Paul lost. This moment proved that despite all the attention and all the hype surrounding him, he still has a long way to go as a legitimate in-ring competitor. So why does Jake Paul continue to draw in such massive attention? The answer lies in his ability to bring eyes to the sport. Whether you love him or not, Paul has managed to capture the public's attention in a way that only few boxers can. According to NBA Sports, 60 million people tuned in to watch Jake Paul's fight with Mike Tyson. Now let's talk sales. Most boxing cards are commonly sold as pay-per-views, but Paul's pay-per-view sales have been respectable for someone who didn't come from a traditional boxing background. The card against Fury generated 800,000 buys, while his fight against Nate Diaz generated 450,000 buys, which you have to admit are respectable numbers. This is not to say that Paul is the best fighter today, but it highlights something crucial. Boxing, just like any other sport, has always been built around figures who can draw in mainstream attention. Think about the legends of the sport, Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, Floyd Mayweather. What made these athletes so great wasn't just their talent, but their ability to captivate an audience. They became larger than life figures who were talked about in media and around the world. Now, with all due respect to top American fighters today like Ryan Garcia, Terrence Crawford, and Devin Haney, they are relatively unknown outside of hardcore boxing fans. Jake Paul is doing his part to make boxing a mainstream event again, and that has value in itself. Whether you realize it or not, when Jake Paul steps into the ring, the world is watching. Now, I know a lot of you may disagree, and as long as you're respectful, let me know what you think in the comment section. So you be the judge. I'm Courtney Hall, and this is what's happening today.